Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is episode 185. Can you believe it? 185. This is where um, I teach you how to crush your auditions, book one work, and live you li live a life that you love. Um, I'm a little delirious. I've been teaching all day. I literally just got off an hour and a half session with my Booking Magnet Academy members. Shout out to all of you. Tonight was a good juicy call tonight, Booking Magnet Academy members. Um, so yes, we had fun. If you want to know more about that, click the link in my bio. Um, but tonight we're talking about asking for submission reports. And uh, so yeah, let's get into it. This actually came up in our Booking Magnet Academy call. So yeah, if this is your first time watching, I wanna welcome you. Put a one in the comments if you've never watched me before, if you've never watched an Actors Daily Bread episode before. If you're an OG member, you've been watching me, put OG in the comments. So all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? What's up, Brandon? What's up, Louis Cartel? What's up, Stephanie? What's up, Jay Sherell? Hey, I'm on Facebook as well. So I'm going to make this quick again because my voice is tired. I'm so, my voice is so tired. Summer, some more 2K3, welcome. Number one, first time? Oh, you're in for a treat. Again, this is episode 185. So if you are an actor who wants to work in film or TV or make the transition to film and TV, you may want to come to my YouTube channel and just binge, okay? All right. So what came up tonight Oh, I got a cramp on my foot. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, God. Okay, I have, like, no arch. Ooh! I stood up for the hour and a half with my academy. So I have a monthly membership. <laughs> I have a monthly membership. And tonight, I was just really teaching, and I literally did not sit down the whole time. It was on my feet, and I just sat down to do this. And I got the worst cramp in my in my non-existent arch just now. Ooh, this is live. Um, so, but what came up tonight in our Booking Magnet Academy, there were some of my clients in there who I was suggesting get a submission report. So put um, well, you don't have to put anything in the comments, but if you ever ask for a submission report from your agent, um, it's very, very helpful. And if you've never asked for one, so let's just say you have an agent or manager or both, and you haven't been getting called in. You're like, I don't know what's going on. I have representation. They're not calling me in. I just don't seem to be asked for a submission report. And this is how you ask for it. And then we talked about it, and those of you who are on the call know this is what we said. It's not deep. You asking for a submission report is not accusing your team of not doing their job. It is just, it takes them two minutes to just be like, put your name in, download the submission report, and send it to you. It's two minutes, but this is how you ask. Send an email, hi team, or hi whoever your contact is. Hey, I'm working on my marketing, and I just wanted to see, um, can you please send me a submission report for the past 90 days? I like to say 90 days, because I go out pretty often. If you haven't been out at all, like I would say I would even go up to six months. But for the most, for typically, I like to go with 90 days because we're in our current season, right? Hey, team. Hey, John. Hey, whatever. Can I, I'm working on my marketing. Can you please send me a submission report for the past 90 days? Because that's kind of a lot when it comes to you. Several pages long. They will respond typically with, with, sure, here it is. Or, oh, I can only send it to you from what's accessible on Actors Access or want, 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 whatever. Just send me the submission report. What it's going to look like is this. It's going to be a PDF with a bunch of columns. It's going to be like your name, the role they submitted you for, the office, and there'll be the last two columns will say like audition invite. And for a lot of you, it's going to be like none. It'll be like, no, 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 So some of y'all are sitting at home with agents and managers and be like, I'm not going out. I'm not getting in the room. I don't know what's going on. But your team is doing their job. And so I'm about to flip this script a little bit on y'all, as I do. Because some of y'all, especially if you're not working with me, you're sitting on the hope and wait plan. You're sitting on the, I'm sure my team is doing their job and that's enough. 
plan. And I'm here to tell you, it needs to be you plus them. The marriage needs to happen like this. Remember, your agent gets 10%, you get 90. So you need to be joining in on this right? So you may see when you get the submission report, it may be a rude awakening where you see your team is pushing that button every day. I mean, you could look at the dates, pushing, 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 and the response is none, 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 none. So then the question becomes, why are these all nuns? Why is no one inviting me in? when my team is doing their job. Now look, I can't speak to if your team is pitching you over the phone or follow-up emails. I can't speak to that. That submission report will not that submission report will not tell you that. But the submission report will tell you. You like how come I didn't get to go out for Underground or for the new Marvel, the new Black Panther? And they give you that submission report and you clearly see they submitted you. But the and when it's the column for invite, it says none. This is when the, everything turns to you. Not just your team, because it's easy to blame your team. What marketing have I been doing? This is the mirror, this is our mirror. What marketing have I done to this casting office? What have I done to let this casting office know that I exist? What videos have I put up of my special skills? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? It's like a marriage. For those of y'all who are not married, marriage is nothing but a mirror. <laughs> as soon as you want to point the finger, honey, the thing goes right back here. You'd be like, oh, damn it. Only that's for my married folks out there. So this is how you do it. Ask for a submission report. I told you how to do that. Do that. Once you get it, I need you to look at it with very discerning eyes and not with judgmental eyes. Like, what haven't y'all done for me? That list, here's how you, here's how you take that list and flip it. For one of my clients, he got the list and saw that the team, he got, there was no invites. And then it actually led the team to say, you know what? We saw we haven't been getting you invites and we're going to drop you. And you may be thinking, ouch, that hurts. Like they drop. I say, thank you. I say, thank you for all of us shedding light on the fact that you've been submitting me or pressing a button and I'm not getting in the room. Now, either I just suck it, but it's like you, you don't even have a chance to audition. So my question, if you were my team member, and if you saw for a month I was not getting in the room, why, did not, why wasn't that a trigger for you to reach out to me? But that also goes to show that you, again, have not reached out to your team lately, because if it's a month of silence, my team's going to hear from me. Unless I'm on vacation, if it's zero, I'm going to at least check in. Hey, how are things going? Just want to check in. Can I get a submission report? I'm working on my marketing. So there has to be a, a connection and a, a collaboration happening the entire time. This should not be a surprise. So for one of my clients, it was a surprise to the team that he wasn't going out. Now, to me, that speaks volumes. Your team should know that it's been no, 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 no. And they should have said, hey, I noticed it's a lot of no's. I am noticed we're submitting you left and right, but you're not getting an audition invitation. Maybe we should change those headshots. Maybe we should look at your reel. Maybe we should work on your marketing. First of all, <laughs> I haven't met an agent yet, and no shade to even mine, because I have a great team, but we don't talk about marketing like that. I bring up marketing to my team. I say who I'm marketing to. I say, hey, this is who's on my list. Who do you know at this office? Or who should I reach out to? I bring it up. They have a full roster of clients. They don't have time to reach out to me. So if you're at home and you're like, I have representation, but why aren't they calling me? Why can't I get in the room? First step is get that submission report. Second step is not an accusatory situation. Look at the evidence. Then I would ask a follow-up question. If you see it's been 90 days of submissions and not one audition or only three out of the 90 days, I would then follow up with my team. Wow. If they don't follow up with you first, like they did with one of my clients. Wow. I see this is really, I see you guys have been doing your job and I'm so grateful for that. What do you think we can do 
or I can do to help with this. Now I'll tell you coach to mentor, coach to mentee, right? Number one, look at that list, see who they've been submitting to, and create your marketing plan to reach out to those people. Especially if you see the same offices over and over again and they don't know you, it's time for them to know you. And how does that happen? You make them know you. You create a marketing strategy for them so that you are on their radar. So that the next time your agent or manager hits that button with your little thumbnail face, they will then make the connection between this, the marketing that you're doing and it'll be a marriage and they may actually give you an opportunity. The real deal is casting doesn't have time to see people all day and night. There are some shows that I read for where they're only seeing 40 people or 30 or if it's a soap opera, 12. 12 people out of everybody. So this submission report is so essential. It is not a dig on your team. It is you staying connected. Now, when you go out a lot, you may not ask for something. Like, I honestly, transparently, I haven't asked for Tomorrow, you know what I'm going to do? Just for y'all, I'm going to ask for a submission report. And not just for y'all. I, I should. I go out a lot, so I just don't even, I don't think about it. But just because I go out a lot, there's still a ton of offices I don't go out for or who haven't called me in. I've done some videos lately where I talk to y'all about certain offices here in town. If you look about two or three episodes back, I named some, some, some offices that have not called me in. And I'm like, why? But how about I look at my submission report and see have I been submitted and have just not been invited? And if that's the case, my marketing needs to step up. So as you can see, the through line in all of this is why won't, ew, I wish they would, ugh. Right? You know, so it's a marriage. So let me check these comments because some of y'all are asking some good questions. Um, Elise Arsenal, happy birthday. Shout out to the um, global actor. Happy birthday, beautiful. Cornelius, the actor, says, uh, sorry, I just tuned in. Not sure what the topic is. <laughs> but if your agent gets you an audition, but after looking at the sides and IMDb of director and casting director, and it looks like uh what the fuck what do you what would you do i would decline it you don't just because your agent gets you your agent and manager gets you an opportunity doesn't mean you have to take it now i talked about this also tonight in the bookie magnet academy trafina you gotta listen to this replay tomorrow girl the replay was, our, was so good. Our Booking Magazine Academy call was so great tonight. And I know everyone's not in it, but let me just give you a recap. We talked about just because sometimes you're not in the mood to do something doesn't mean it doesn't need to get done. We're professional actors. We're not always going to be in the mood to do something. We're not going to be in the mood to do a self-tape. We're not going to be in the mood. A character may not excite us in the moment, but we're professionals. We just do it. Unless the character goes against your moral value, your morals, you don't want to represent your race that way, your gender that way, like you can still make a choice just because your agent or your rep gets you an opportunity doesn't mean you have to take it. It's your job to also look at the script and be responsible and say, hey, is this something I want to represent myself as? Is it something that I want to be known for? Right? So I hope that answers your question. But this is, if you're just tuning in, this is Actors Daily Bread. My name is Christine Horn. This is episode 185. If you have a desire to work in film and television, just go to YouTube, put in Christine Horn, and enjoy. And just binge, and you're welcome. Okay? Uh, Trafina says, I asked my agents for a submission report. Silence. Oh! Ah! Silence! Trafina follow up it takes two it takes two minutes silence that speaks volumes uh hey brandon he says thank you for that reminder of not saying yes to every submission oh absolutely you definitely voiced this in another video i know i did yeah and my you're welcome uh cornelius hey albion gloria john hey gloria one of my inner circle clients hey uh, she says, so other than the love letter, what else should I do? I know I'm trying on social media too. Um, Gloria, um, I know you're one of my VIP clients. I posted, I sent an email tonight. There's a new training tonight on 
what you can be doing as an actor on a daily, monthly, minute by minute basis. It's in the Inner Circle Student Portal. It's in the Booking Magnet Academy Portal. It's called September New Training, Actor Office Hours, Love Note Basic Training. Watch it and then we can talk about it. Um, all right. <laughs> so here's the deal. Good evening, y'all. It's late. It's late on the East Coast. Um, I'm just going to take a minute to uh, just settle for a second with you because I missed you. Um, I've been gone for two weeks. Shout out to everyone in Atlanta, Georgia. Shout out to Kathleen Bertrand and Deirdre McDonald and Nana and the entire Bronze Lens Film, Bronze Lens Film Festival crew. I had an amazing uh, week with the Bronze Lens Film Festival in Atlanta, teaching all of you who came and supported. Shout out to Bill Duke, actor Bill Duke, who came and blessed my class with wisdom. We had an amazing time. And um, I'm honestly recoup still recuperating from traveling. After Bronze Lens, I headed to New Orleans. Shout out to the leading man, Kerwin Thompson, and his beautiful bride, Brandy Thompson. I went to New Orleans, and I just got back on Monday night. And then when I got back, I got back, we got, got like, it's like almost midnight. And then I had like two auditions yesterday. So today's the first day I'm like caught up, catching up, <laughs> catching up. Um, so it's good to be back. But listen, if you've missed any of this, literally like go to my YouTube channel and just binge. You know, some of you I know financially, you know, you just need some free resources that are good, that can get you started. My YouTube channel has like hundreds of videos. I mean, literally. Um, I also just wanna give you an insight that I've opened the doors. If you look at my Instagram stories, to my, uh, my Inner Circle VIP membership has opened. That's where I work with people one-on-one. -on -one. I have about eight spaces left for this next round of Inner Circle members for six months. If you're interested in that, go to my Instagram, Facebook stories, and learn more about that. And if that's something of interest to you, you can certainly let me know, shoot me a DM. But I'm gonna wrap, but I just want you to remember this. And I, I'm, I'm gonna make a note to myself in my big trusty binder. I'm gonna get my own submission report. And again, I go out a lot. But having this information lets me know if I see that there's an office that my, my team keeps submitting me to and they won't see me, the first question I think is why? Why are they passing up on all this goodness right here? Like, don't you see my resume? Like, what's wrong? So my next question is what do I have to do to get them to be part of Team Christine? Because once you're on Team Christine, you're on Team Christine. And this isn't me being cocky, like legit. I know what I bring to the table. I know I'm worthy. I know my resume is worth its salt. I know I'm worthy to be seen and heard. And I, I've, I have, I mean, come on. So I keep, I know I'm a broken record, but I keep bringing it back to me, back to me, back to me. Because it is, it is my future does not lie, lay, lie. Where's my English majors? Doesn't lie in anyone else's hands, but mine. Period. Okay? And if you're on the hope and wait plan and just assume and hope that your team will work it out, and if you just stay patient and stay faithful, one of these days you'll get in that office and you're not doing nothing to make it happen, that's not the plan. That's not the plan I'm on. I'm not on the hope and wait plan. I'm on the give me the facts plan and then let me see what I need to do to make you a believer because once you're a believer, you won't go back, right? All right. I've been talking way too long. It's been a long day. Have an amazing night. Instagram, I may stay on for a few more moments. I see a few more comments here. Facebook, have an amazing night. Bye.